Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Tycoonatix channel. I'm sorry, so sorry, so sorry that I haven't been around in a while. Um, it was just the uh, the cavalcade, absolute cavalcade of garbage situations. Not really garbage situations. Basically, um, I am a I am a gamer with a job, and uh, that job involves me um, being uh, extremely busy under the most normal circumstances, but uh, last few weeks I um, had to move my office and basically it was a Herculean effort on the part of myself and uh, one or two other people at the office to basically uh, take a group of, uh, uh, an office of about 40 people and all the, uh, uh, an office that used to be about 100 people is now about 40 but still kind of has a lot of crap and moving it um, from uh, one location to the other, and it is uh, it was kind of a nightmare. And then, as a special added bonus, um, I caught a flu uh, right in the middle of it. So <clears throat> that, combined with the move, basically put me into a state of clinical exhaustion, and I was just not gaming. <laughs> I was not playing video games for nearly a month at this point. Um, you know, a little bit here and there, uh, playing around a little bit with uh, some uh, with some games that I that don't really fit with the theme of the channel or anything like that. But you know, um, but I'm good. I'm back. Um, during the flu, at the end of the flu too, I lost my voice, so that didn't actually help with uh, the uh, option of uh, the option of, uh, of streaming. So. There we go. Okay, so uh, tonight we're gonna jump into some, into a new game. Um, this one, as you can see on the screen, is Dawn of Man. Relatively popular new uh, new uh, not really tycoon game per se, city building game, sort of civilization building game. Not sure what you want to call it, but it fits within the general kind of uh, uh, feel and genre genre of uh, of the channel. So I figured I would. Uh, whip it out and give it a go. Now I have played this game once um, for a sitting at about a six hour sitting. So I'm going to start over and see how I can do uh, tonight and uh, share it with y'all. So here we go, Dawn of Man. Um, challenges, community, no community scenarios. Um, creative mode. <clears throat> what is the long march? Guide the herd? Nah, I don't want to do that. We'll just go into free play. And we'll do with... Uh, do Continental Dawn. And we'll do... Let's see. Lake Valley. Mountain Lake. Merging Streams. So Twisty River is the one that I've done already. Um... Forest River, River Fork. Well, let's uh, let's try Lake Valley. Why not? Now, uh, this game does have normal and hardcore, um, <laughs> so you can't pause on hardcore. Uh, there's a lot of raiders, and you only have one save game. So, here's the thing with this game, and I'll go over it. So. Um, other tribes match your technology kind of keeps things on an even footing so you don't end up like uh, technology proceeds through like eras and I'll, I'll show that uh, once I get inside but um, if somebody really got into like the you know the bronze age or the iron age but while I'm still sitting there you know combing mammoth fur out of my face uh, then I wouldn't have a very good time and also the thing with raiders is hardcore is larger amounts of raiders uh uh raiders are Bear, especially once you get past like the third age in the game. They are really hard to deal with. So I'm going to keep it on normal and we'll see how things go. Um, so yeah, uh, Kuwain uh, sounds just fine, so we'll keep that and let's get started. Don't expand too fast if you don't have the infrastructure to feed your people. I did not have that problem the first game that I played. I actually ran more into a problem where there was too much work for the amount of people that I had. 
especially once raiders came in and killed like 10 or 20 of them at a time that was super annoying you also forgive me if you hear a little sniffling uh i still do have a little bit of lingering uh illness so still kind of getting over it, a little scratchy throat so but i felt like doing this tonight all right so here's my dudes look at all du dudes and dudettes uh we got let's see two two four six seven dudes and we have enough tents for six people so we'll have to fix that so the first thing you have to do is uh, I need to get these guys to work. So let's see. We've got a nice little lake here. That's very pleasant. Wait, what's feeding this lake? Is there, is there a river feeding it anywhere? Huh. No, it's just a lake. Weird. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so we need to set up our infrastructure a bit. Uh, I've got a nice little clearing here. How much space does this give me to work with? Can I? Where can I expand? One of the things I've noticed about this game is that the middle mouse button turning of the camera is not particularly good. Okay, I absolutely can't expand that way. I'll just have to use that for materials. So it looks like I'm going to have to expand out that direction. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at things here. So. In the upper right, we have our resource uh, meter. I actually like the way that this game handles things. They let you actually um, select any... Uh, select. I think it's up to three um, kind of things to keep an eye on, basically. Like how much food you have and how much... Uh, or how you know what your animals are, what your tran what, how many transports you have, stuff like that. Generally, you want to keep an eye on like resources. Uh, I also keep an eye on food. Over here, up in the upper right, we've got population knowledge. Knowledge is how you I don't know grow your perk tree, I guess. On uh, temperature and the season, and how far along you are in the season. Um, knowledge has a. Uh, Knowledge has a, there's a tech tree, basically. And so, uh, just about everything you do in the game, uh, let's see if I can find it here. So, so, like, this is your knowledge progress. So, all these things you can do in the game uh, will get you a knowledge point. Um, so, like, initially, you'll get a knowledge point for the first of every one of these species that you hunt. So, cave bears, regular bears, meg megalosaurus. Deers, reindeers, wolves, cave lions, mammoths, wild horses, aurochs, boars, mouflons, which is basically a, a sheep, ibex, which is the you know goat monster, uh, bison, ancient bison. I'm not sure what the difference is. I think the ancient bison is bigger and more monstrous. Woolly rhinoceros and wild donkeys. I did notice in my previous game that. Species can go extinct as you go through the ages. The woolly rhinoceros is the first one uh, in my previous game. That's probably historically accurate. <laughs> um, and then for every like five, or well, actually, I guess every one structure, you get a knowledge point of, of every structure, you get a knowledge point, and then every five that you make after that, and then every ten after you make after that, and so on. So on. It just keeps growing. And how many resources you accumulate. So every ten it starts with, and then it goes to like 50, I think, and then 100, and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, that's how you get knowledge points, and then you need knowledge points to uh, to get newer, better things. So like right now, I can make like tents, and I can have my guys do basic things, but I can improve their tools. I can let them like do food drying, which is probably the first thing I'm going to get because that'll let them uh, uh, actually have food through the winter, which is important. Domestication of animals, tanning, things like that. And then here are the ages I was talking about: Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic, Copper Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age. Iron Age is the uh, kind of goal of the um, of uh, the, the the free play portion of the game. So um, the game lets you set up work areas, which basically means like there are resources all over the ground. Like over here, you'll see like uh, this is flint, and this is uh, sticks, and you'll need flint, and you'll also need sticks for the game. But rather than like click on a person and have them click things individually, I can say place work area to gather sticks. 
and then you can click on the flag and say, um, make, get, get, some extra pe get some extra people to do it. So now I've got a couple people working on sticks. I need flint. Let me see if there's an area where there's like multiple flint deposits close by. Ah, there's, oh man, look at all those. Four of them. So we're going to put our flint flag. We're going to plant our flint flag right there. We're going to give another two people working on flint. Uh, we will definitely need food. So I'm going to put a fishing spot here. And uh, we can put two people working on fishing. So that's six people. Uh, what else do I need? Um, wild plants and stone. I don't actually need stone right away. Wild plants might be pretty good. It kind of, it kind of, uh, I'll put that last person on wild plants. Um, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, where'd my flag go? It's in the trees. No, my flag is in the trees. Actually, I only want one person doing that anyway. All right. And then let's unpause and let's speed it up. And everybody's going to go off to do things. Um, so, while people collect stuff, I'm going to want to see what I can build initially. So, I'm going to I'm definitely going to need a tent. Um, you see Z and C to rotate, so I'm going to put a a tent like there. And I'm going to need let's see, rock pile, wood pile and storage tent. So there's my there's a there's a wood pile. I don't have a rock pile. I should probably have one of those for uh, flint, at least initially. And I'm going to need a basic storage structure. So let's just place that there. Uh, let's see production. So I've got the base the basic crafter tent, which I'm going to need. And then I'm going to want to make sure... How many tools do I have? Uh, I have one wooden harpoon, four bifaces, which are like... Um, bifaces are uh, flint-napped uh, blades, basically. They're like... Uh, I mean, they're just what they sound like. Bifa it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a homemade knife that has two edges. The, that's the bi in biface, right? Um, if you've ever seen any sort of footage or something in a museum where like somebody's using a rock to, to basically, you know, chip away at another rock to make it into a, a spear point or a, you know, they always think of them as spear, spearheads or spear points or spearheads or arrowheads. It's usually not what they were, but they would do, they would do that, but mostly they would be using it to make like more universal tools like bifaces, like knives, uh, uh, think cutting, cutting implements. Anyway, uh, that's my that's my college education talking, so I apologize. Um, so let's see, what else? Uh, I've got four wooden spears. Those are good for hunting. Um, so you you can turn on production of of items. So somebody will like always make these up to a a um, up to a resource limit that you've set. The game automatically sets resource limits. Let's see. So the, so the bifaces would be 100% of your population. So I have seven people. They would make a maximum of seven bifaces. Uh, spears, same thing. Fishing tools would be half the population. So they'll make like, I don't know if it rounds up or down, three or four. Uh, axes, I don't actually have yet. Same thing with picks and farming tools. Those will come later. Slings and bows, uh, same thing. And then we want clothing for everybody, and everybody should. Tr we sh I should try to set it up so that we have warm and warm weather and cold weather clothing. Um, leather outfits are for warm weather, and skin skins outfits are for uh, uh, cold weather. You can think of them rather than thinking of them as skins outfit. Think of them as fur, basically. So, um, I can right click to make the the production continuous until we have our max, so I guess I'll do that. Um, now, what else do I have to build? Uh, the production. Okay, I will need skins dryers. I need to dry skins. You can't just, like, start... You can't just use moist, bloody skins off of an animal, so... Uh, let me put 
these over by my storage areas. I'm gonna put, I think, uh, maybe, maybe three. Seems reasonable. Three, okay, so three there. Um, and then, ba -ba 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 -ba. that's all I have right now. Crafter, I've got hearth is like your little fire pit. I got that. And skin. So now I just kind of wait for my guys to do things and gain. And gain uh, knowledge points so that I can open up new stuff. Let's turn up the speed and see how they do. Okay, so they're starting to build stuff. They're retrieving uh, ret retrieving sticks from the stick fairy. You can also prioritize building of certain things. Um, right now, I don't think that's ne entirely necessary because I need all of these things. Although it's going to make somebody sad if they don't have a house for a while. But not everybody's asleep at one time. Three, six. Okay, so I got 10 flint, knowledge plus one, 10 sticks, knowledge plus one. So that gets me two knowledge already. Knowledge is not too terrible to collect up until maybe the Copper Age, and then it kind of, kind of slows down a lot. The Copper Age is also the point at which... Um, at which... Uh, you kind of have to make sure that you've really kind of worked up um, at least basic defenses because raiders start really... You get raiders a little bit during Mesolithic and Neolithic and Paleolithic, but, man, at Copper, they're just like... They're just, they're just like, nope, we take no... We take, we take no craps. And uh, it can get really rough. And they just grow as it goes along, so it's just like, yeah. In my in my main game, I was getting kind of creamed. <laughs> I lost. I had a population of about fifty, and I lost like ten, and that really messed up my workflow for like all the jobs that I had everybody doing. It was recoverable, but you know. So here's my food production. Shows that I've got uh, ten food. Well. I actually only see eight, but... Oh, no, this is the line for ten. Okay, so I've got about eight food. I need about... Actually, I'm not sure what this tells me. If it's like... If five is what my needs are or what, but... As long as this line is relatively high, doesn't go below, I think, the middle, I think we're okay. Okay, so I need to... I can't make axes yet, so I can't actually chop down trees. Requires tech composite tools. The good news is, is that the hearth can be fueled by sticks, which people can just pick up off the ground, so. New materials. Oh, this place needs skins, which means I'm gonna have to hunt something. There's a wild horse. Uh, yeah, let's kill it. Go get it, boys and girls. Go get it! Spirit! Oh, man. No, it hasn't escaped. Stop that. I guess it's too far away to hunt. That's a shame. Well, no, here comes somebody. Okay, where, where's my... There's my target. It hasn't gotten away. It's still got a hunt thing on it. There we go. First animal hunted wild horse. Excellent. And I'm going to set my guys to kill a... Okay. So one of the things this game has is it has bat uh, Batman vision. Which is to say, you hit tab and you can see all the resources and stuff around. Um, so... Like these green... Bushes and trees are like places that you can, uh, or there are things that you can like get. They're harvestable plants, basically harvestable wild plants. Um, the animals that show up in here. So you also see these these uh, 
outcroppings here, which are like um, ores. You can get those later. Um, the animals here are showing in them in various colors, which means the colors represent like kind of how easy they are to to uh, to take out. So I'm trying to choose this this elk here that's inside the rhinoceros. It's not very easy. So we're gonna do this one. That's a donkey. Yeah, let's kill that too. You can also set up a hunting zone, so like any animal that goes into a particular zone, just like just like I did with the other things, any animal that goes into a particular zone will be hunted. But that's kind of dangerous because some dangerous animals can go in there, like bears and cougars and stuff. There's a mouflon. Let's hunt that. And there's a boar. Let's hunt that. The nice thing about being near a lake is you're near a watering hole. So animals will want to come there. And then you can spear them. Poor escaped. My guys aren't very good at hunting yet. Okay, don't quite have five knowledge, but I should get one if I can hunt one of these animals successfully. There we go, Mouflon. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is get unlock food drying. Uh, and that uh, lets me create a food dryer so I can, well, make food. Or make, well, I can dry food. So that's especially important for winter. And I am in the middle of summer, so I should get that running right now. And I'm going to set up two of these, I think. One... Um, production, food dryer, two. Okay, let's get my guys building stuff. They'll store meat in the little huts because we don't have a storage tent and I don't have a place to dry them. So I'm hoping to actually, yeah, let's prioritize this food dryer. Because I really want to get that the meat on there so it'll last a lot longer. Dry food lasts way longer than... Um, not dry food. There we go. You just hang it over the sticks and let the sun dry it out. <laughs> just like our ancestors did. Now remember, this game is a lesson in the paleo diet. Just look at all the chocolate and... What other things are on the paleo diet that don't make sense? Not yeah. Well, it doesn't have me eating bugs. It has me eating meat and fish mostly. <laughs> Meat, fish, and like, hearts and like, nuts and berries. <laughs> Knowledge. This is a you know, help thing. I've already done that. Okay, we got our storage tent. That's good. We can start storing things in there instead of our you know, houses stinking the place up. Oh, and I've got another five knowledge points that I wasn't paying attention to. So what should we do next? Um, so... I don't want to unlock tanning. Let's see, spirituality. That actually becomes pretty important for happiness. Although... Well, I'm moving into fall and winter, so I think I'll hold off on... I'll do tanning next. I'll get bone tools for now so I can work towards composite tools. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to my crafter and I will turn off wooden spears and I'll turn on bone spears. And I'll turn off wooden harpoons and I'll turn on bone harpoons because now that'll actually let me hunt and fish more effectively. Theoretically. We're in fall. We should have enough food to last us. Let's go into Batman mode and see if there's anything we can hunt. Let's get this reindeer. And... Uh, okay. What are these? More mouflons? Mouflons? 
Mouthlins. Mathalanis. I don't think that's a real word. So we got more reindeers over here. Uh, eh, let's just stick with that. Go hunt that one reindeer. See if we can catch it. Especially with bone spears. Seven wooden spears. Bone tools unlocked. Uh, I need to keep looking at that reindeer chart. Let's take a look here. Uh, what are the things I can look at here? General. Oh, already. <laughs> That's the same one I'm looking at. Uh, resources. Defense. Food. Straw. I don't need that. I'm going to change this over to grouped resources. Gives me a little bit better of an overview. First animal hunted reindeer. Trader has arrived. So the traders I've never found to be particularly useful. Although they do let you... Um, they do let you actually get technologies... Occasionally, these these first four are were just resources. This is a technology for spirituality, but I don't think I have enough materials that would bring it up to. No, I don't have enough stuff that we could get. This has a value of a hundred. I'd have to have a hundred worth of stuff, and even if I traded like all my stuff, it's only seventy. So I'm not going to be able to get the resource from that person. So I think I'll just wait it out. Yeah, complaining about clothing. I'll deal with that when I get uh, the leather thing. Bum, bum, bum. When I open up, what was I talking about? Uh, tanning. When I open up tanning. All right, guys, how we doing? How do these guys mar match? Ooh, they're like those are lions. Cave lions. I don't like it. What's that? Wild horse. Let's hunt you. And... Anybody else around here? Anybody else for hunting? That reindeer looks dead. Yeah. I should probably build another uh, tent kind of entice more villagers. Okay, raw skin, good. Let's see, resources limits, defense, tax. Okay, so I've got, ah, so I've got eight people now. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Did somebody just... Oh, new human has joined the... It's right there. New human has joined the settlement. Well, good. He can help me hunt things or fish things. Or hunt fish things. Where's my fishing zone? Let's pop that up to three people. Let's see if that helps. <coughs> Get in the zone. Fishing zone. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, my food supply is not super good, but mm, should be able to be enough to make it through the winter. And here's the winter. You can tell it's winter because there's snow. Alright. So everybody should have skin outfits. I have nine outfits and eight people, so everybody should be dressed like a decent person. Well, what was that? 
that? Why did they just lay on the ground there? Not sure what that is. Survive the winter, yay! Yeah, and every time you survive the winter, you get a knowledge, so. That's nice, I guess. I love watching these little guys hunt. Come on, and... Get it! Did it get it? Nope. Just got dirt. Just got dirt. You can click on your little guys, and then you can uh, click the focus camera, and it like does the cinematic kind of like fade out and fade in, and then you're just watching them stab dirt. Stab the dirt. Stab it. Stab the dirt. Oh, good dirt stabbing. This person's exceptionally good at stabbing the dirt. Stab dirt. All right, I'm bored of watching him stab dirt or heard that stab dirt. Not I, I can never tell. Doesn't matter. Um. So it's spring. Where are the herds? Where are the herds? I need to murder them. I mean, call them. Well, nothing's here yet. I'll go out of Batman vision and. I wonder how many. I wonder how many streamers or video makers have called that Batman vision. Because it totally looks like the thing from Arkham... Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. It's Batman Vision. Come on. I also want to hunt these birds that are flying over. Come on. No, go for it. Ah. Apparently they're just scenery. Ooh, look, buffalo. Here come the herds. Buffalo are not super easy to kill, though. Kind of need a lot of hunters. Ooh, what's this? It's an Ibex. That'll give me a point. Go stab it, guys. Kicked over something. Stab with your stabby sticks. How are my spears doing? I've only got one bone spear. Somebody's not working at the crafting station. Let me take a look at my... Um, what am I looking for? It's the tasks. Well, work it says it's only 75%, so I should be able to actually do all the stuff that I'm doing. Looks like this guy's... Somebody's running out to stab this... This goat. The goaty goat. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Let's do the cinematic view on this one. Let's see how terrible he is. She is. Looks like a she. Whoa, drawing. Oh. Wait, was that it? One stab? Good job, stabby hunty lady. Wow. Alright, I'm getting out of the cinematic view. She's going to butcher that thing like a butcherer. I don't know if there's a button for, like, zapping back to your village. I'll have to figure that out. We're zapping the camera back to your village. What you doing, bruh? What you doing? You just hanging out? You're idle? What do you mean you're idle? You're a fisherman. Go fish. What's the matter? Not enough fish? In the sea? Why don't you go craft? Go over here and craft. Alright, going to get raw skin. Now he's gonna go retrieve stuff. So there are tasks in Q... Uh, okay, there's somebody. So this is a character who wants coffee, apparently. So I'm not sure what her needs is. That just means nutrition, so she needs more food. Hey, a new human was born! Yay, humans! Oh, storm coming in. Ooh, I've got five knowledge. Let's get... Alright, let's work on tanning next. So tanning should have unlocked some more stuff. Um, any new work areas? Okay, collect tannin. So tannin comes from trees. So I'm gonna make a collect tannin, and I should only need one person to do that. Um, oh, I don't need that. And then I need to build a tanner, and I'm gonna build that over next to the skin racks. Put it over here. Is 
anything else new that I missed? Nope. Got it, got it, got it. Nope. Nothing else new for that. Residences won't be for a while. Oh, spiritual. I can build a skull pole. Or as I like to call them, a skull. That's not true. There we go. We'll build a skull pole with all the skulls. Yeah, I don't like this food supply. I don't know why my people aren't fooding more. Let's check my let's check Batman vision. That thing looks good for killing. That thing looks good for killing. Na 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 kill that. All right. I guess that's good enough for now. Go get it, boys, girls, people, humans, humans, humans. All the Ibarxes. Acquired dry fish times ten, knowledge plus one. Good job. Nine people. How many can I hold? Uh, Twelve. Skull pole. Ooh, look at all these buffaloes. Uh, none of them are green. Acquired tannin times ten. Oh. If I can just get somebody to. Oh no, it's pending materials. It needs a log, and I can't make logs yet. I wish I'd known that. Well, this guy's selling logs. Let's take a log. He's also selling sling making. Let's see, the log is one, and I'll give you a flint for a log. No, that's two. I'll give you a flint for two logs. No, now it's three? What? What? What kind of... What kind of... What kind of... What crap is this? Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to lose some money. But hey, I have logs now. <laughs> logs. All right, let's turn off the trader chart. Uh, look at my guys going swimming. Good lord, where are they going? Why are they all the way over there? Must be the hunters. Okay, Tanner. Uh, they're gonna make leather, which means I'm gonna set this guy to start making some leather, uh, clothing. Once we have some leather in stock. I've got five points again, yay! Okay, what's next? Spirituality. That'll basically unlock, uh, the totem, which is a larger, uh, religious thing. Oh no, I need composite tools. There we go. Composite tools unlocked. Now things become a little more interesting. Um, so I'm going to turn off bone spear. I'm going to turn on flint spear, flint axe, flint pick. Now, is there anything I can build? No, nothing new to build. No new storage. Nothing there. And no new work area, so we're fine. Oh no, I have cut down trees as a work area. Which probably isn't a bad idea, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll take out these trees. Alright. Now, I want to check my workload again. Ooh, my workload's over 100%. Because I need more pupils. But I have enough space for three more people, so hopefully I should... Some more folks coming in. Okay, so here's the here's the question. Here's the million dollar question: If I hunt an, a young a young ancient bison, which is yellow, not too terribly difficult, will the other bison's get all pissy at me? Let's find out. Let's find out. Where are my hunters? There they go. Go get them, buddy. Spirit. Yeah, spirit. You can do it. You. Where'd he go? Is he going home to sleep? That guy's a terrible hunter. Oh, well. People will keep trying. Are you going to go hunt that guy? 
Oh, she's got a spear. Yeah. Let's watch her. Let's watch her creepily. Unfortunately, it's not a bone spear or a uh, flint spear. They need to get rid of some of these uh, old spears. You do get knowledge for making a, making a lot of those things. So there is that. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's mad. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pause the game. I need to get out of this view. Oh, boy. So, I'm going to need... That one's being attacked. Okay. Oh, no! No! Oh, well, okay. So, well, I discovered that the bison thing was not a good idea. Which means my... Uh, my task list... Eh. I guess it's still okay. Alright. Let's see how it goes from here. Okay, so if it's a herd that the adults and babies don't attack the babies because the adults will murder you with murder sauce. So let's see if there's anything easier to kill because I still need meat. Okay, there's a there's a whatever that is. It's a horse. Horses are killable. They're full of delicious horse meat. Don't judge. Ooh. Here's some things. Some more horses? Sure is. Oh man, I'm going to be dining on a horse tonight. Let's do it! Go get him, everybody. So next time a trader comes through, I'm probably going to try to trade away all my um, wooden spears. Right now I'm just having a population issue. So I'm going to go back to my work areas. I'm going to turn that down to two. I'm going to turn the sticks down to, to one. Uh, I'm going to turn flint... I still need a lot of flint, so I'm going to keep that at two. Cut down trees. I'm actually going to remove this right now. Yeah, let's stick with that. terrible at hunting. I have to get better tools. Five faces. Flint pick, flint spear, flint axe. Flint knife is where you get to the next knife. Three new humans joined the settlement. Nice. I have 11 populations. That's going to help. And one of them went right to work making things. I kind of want a trader to show up so I can get rid of all this, all this extraneous junk. The wooden spears, the wooden... Need to get rid of wooden spears, wooden harpoons, bone spears, and bone harpoons. Sorry, not bone harpoons, just bone spears. There we go. Trader. I want you to take all of my wooden spears and wooden harpoons 
and let's see. My face. My axis. Okay. So that's a value of twenty-five. I'll take. I'll take dry fish. I'll take leather. And. No. Huh. No, that's too much. So one of those back. I guess a log, maybe? There we go. Gotta, I, I wonder if there is a way to actually manage um, I want to get rid of the of the stuff that I don't need resources so I want I mean I'd like to get rid of these wooden spears just toss them break them whatever put them in a pile I don't care but I don't think that's happening so Looks like they are making new things, so they're, that's good. Wait, flint spears? Oh no, that's not harpoons. Spears are for hunting. Harpoons are for fishing. Okay, my leather outfits. I have six for eleven people, so we're getting there. Anything worth hunting? Hmm. See, the fun thing for, like, large animals, the fun thing is you just kind of wait for them to go through your village, and at that point, like, everybody who can hunt, basically, like, hunts them down. It's pretty nice. All right, we got five knowledge again. So... Uh, I mean, we need to do all of these, so let's... I guess let's go with slings first. Turn on production of slings. All right. Look at my little guys doing their little brushy animation. It's pretty sweet. Hey, new human was born. Yay, and I'm up to my max. And, oh my god, I'm kind of low on food. I'm build a couple more tents. Placing structure would create isolated areas? I'm not sure what that means. Hmm. My food supply is not great. I did not hunt a lot of things. I'm going to need to hunt all of these. Ooh, I'm gonna hunt that bear. That bear is nearly dead. Oh, no, that's not a bear, that's a rhino. I'm gonna hunt that rhino. Before it goes extinct, quick. <laughs> Go get it, guys. Get it. That should be full of delicious food. Of meats. Tasty, tasty meats. Yes! Eleven meats. That's what I'm talking about. Bring back all the meats and all the hides. Yeah. Is she eating raw meat? Gross. You know rhinos are basically... The wa Wagyu of the Paleolithic. It's true. Did you see how marbled that meat was? My guys carry it all back to town. 
Yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about. You got an entire family of dudes. And that entire family of dudes... Ooh, there's a bunch of meat there. On the hoof. That entire family of dudes goes off and gets all the meat and they bring it all home. So, that begs the question. Why could you not take back the entire 800 pounds of bison meat on the Oregon Trail? It's like, you kill a bison on the Oregon Trail, and it's like, you can only carry 50 pounds. What? Survive the winter. Ooh, I got a milestone. Da -da! I survived for two years. So there we have it, man. Survival. Survival is what this is all about. Okay, let's get that meat on the dryer. Man, my fisher, my fisher people are not doing a very good job. It's up to the, up, it's up that to three people. I need more food. All right, how am I doing? Cured meat six, not bad. Where's that big herd of dudes? I want to kill him, and him, and him. That last one was a her. The first one was a her. Her, her, him, her, him, her, him, her, him. Hunting expedition, go! Go get them, guys. Get all of them. Yeah, successful hunt. Love it. Wait, are those more animals to kill? What are those? Oh, those are the those are the baby mouflons. I'll wait for them to get big and fat and full of meat before I hunt them down and murder them. Or later on, you can actually capture them and use them for delicious, delicious wool, which is not delicious. It's it would be terrible to eat wool, but you can make it into wonderful, wonderful warm clothing. Trader has arrived. Got anything interesting, Trader? Nope. Nope. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'll take your dried fish. I don't need your pulses. I don't know what a pulse is. It seems to be... It seems to be the word in this game for, like, oh. seed f vegetables? Peas. Beans. Peas. Peas. So it's like legumes. Yeah. Got it, got it. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Let's see, trade value five. I'm gonna give you one, two, three. I'm not gonna give you flint. I'm gonna give you bones. There you go. Go. Bye bye, trader. It was nice meat in you because I bought meat from them, you see. That's how it goes. Alright. Okay, my food is... <coughs> Excuse me. My food is way better now. Look at that spike. I'm only in spring. Okay, I've got seven knowledge, so let's get uh, spirituality. We'll build ourselves a nice totem over here by this skull pole. How's that sound? Um, spiritual totem. I like the early religious things because they're super creepy and they're covered in skulls. Because of course they are. I got 12 people, I got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I got enough space for 18. Oh, wolf attack. Wolf. 
Wolves are red. Oof. Well, I guess the wolf decided not to attack. Oh no, it's attacking one of my dudes. No. Turger, come back to town. No, come back. Everybody! Kill that thing! Oh. Yeah, you thought you could get away with that. Well, now I'm going to eat your flesh. Ooh, population 15. 16. Wow. Four human, four new humans were like, "Yo, I heard you killed a wolf." Well, I'm coming to your town. I don't know why that first part kind of sounded like a bad impersonation of Snoop, but it's like, "Yo, <laughs> how'd you kill a D double O G?" <laughs> now nah, it was a wolf. Oh, that's okay then. I'm not very good at impersonations. All right, 16 people. Well, goodness. Um, looks like it's time to get dog domestication unlocked. And now comes the fun part. To move to the next era, you have to, uh, you have to get 15 points. <laughs> so... Okay. So, how's my storage doing? It's not doing bad. I'm going to set up some more um, gathering areas. So I think my last one was down here. I'm going to set up another one over here. And we'll put maybe two people to work on that. What is this? Okay, that's a megalith. Wow, two megaliths right next to my base. That's really good. Later on, when you build higher end religious structures, you need those, and you need to kind of you need to mine those out. You need to pull, get those out of the ground. Then you need to basically put them on a sledge, and then you have to pull that sledge back to town. It's really slow because these are giant rocks. Oh my gosh, three of them. That's real good. If I could get to five, I could make a stone circle. Well, not yet, but. All right, let's speed it up a bit. Milestone unlocked, hunting and gathering. Nice. All right. My food supply is pretty good. Is there anything in the area I can hunt? Yep. A couple things. Let's get that guy. Let's get that guy. Eh, let's stick with that for now. By phase 10, knowledge plus one. So dog domestication... Um... Dog domestication is kind of interesting. You can actually uh, domesticate like baby wolves if you can if you can find them, uh, but mostly like wild dogs will come to your town and then they'll basically be tamed. And what they do is they just help you defend it. So if if you have one of those things like a bear attack or a wolf attack, they'll they'll jump in. Oh, look, mammoths, old female. She may be old. She ain't weak. Okay, eight knowledge points. Let's take a look at our knowledge uh, uh, list again. So see how we're doing. Okay, we need to find. We need to hunt an ancient bison, a bear, a cave bear, a megal, a megal, 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 megaloceros, megalor, meg, megaloceros. Basically, a giant and a uh, deer. Uh, a regular deer, 
I need to find. I need to get a boar. I know that they're around. Arok, cave lions, and the mammoth. Mammoths are going to be tough. Um, lots of things I haven't built yet. Uh, I could put up more food dryers to get a point. Totem skull poles, skins dryers. Let's see. Nuts and berries, grains. We have no flint. Why do we have no flint? What happened to my flint area? Let me. All right. Let me take a look at my different work areas. Uh, there's fishing. There's wild plants. There's gather sticks. There's tannin. Wait. What happened to my flint area? Did I collect all the flint? Oh man, I sure did. Good lord. Uh, okay. Well, here's some more. Oh! Cave bear attack! Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Now oh, this should be interesting. bunch of bear food. Uh, so there's a flint. There's flint over there. There's flint over here. Uh, let's remove this. Let's remove that work area. Let's see if there's a place with more flint. Ah, right here. There's three three things here. Let's put two people on flint duty. Okay. Should be good to go. Let's speed things up again. Let's let's uh, let's butcher the bear. Butcher the bear. Guys, there we go. Yeah, meat, skins. Why are my fishermen not fishing? Here, okay, you're fishing. What are you using? Okay, no, you're fine. Bone harpoon. I got a hunter. Storage tinsel full up. I should probably make another one. All right. Get a dog. I've already got a couple of dogs. Excellent. Let's see. Ancient bison. Do, 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 do. Lions. Aurochs. Goats. Do, 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 do. Pump this uh, fishing spot up to five dudes, which is the max you can have. There is a max fish that you can get, which is kind of weird. Let's see. Production limit for fish is set to 10 units. I'm setting that up to 30 units. Give me about 30. Let's go to 20. I only have three right now. Food is dwindling. I've got nothing to hunt. Let's see, that's flint. This is harvest. Wild plants. Let's get two people in on that one. Let's get. I've already got two people in on that one. Okay, so. Now it's winter again. Well, let's see if I can last it. New human was born. Okay, I think once I get to 18 people, we're going to pause for the evening. 
Uh, and then we'll save this out and we'll continue it. Uh, well, there's a, there's a there's a couple other things I want to try out. There's a lot of lot of uh, tycoon and management games that have been coming coming out lately. A couple more things I want to try out. Uh, Mad Tower Tycoon is uh, one that I really want to get, get my hands dirty with. Um, so I'll be going back and forth. I'll probably um, yeah, I know we're low on food. Probably jump in with Mad Tower. Um, This weekend, I need to get another fishing area set up. Let's get these guys running down here. Ooh, reindeers are. Uh, I need to hunt these guys. All right. Oh, I'm out of food. Not good. Will I survive the winter? That is the question. Somebody die of old age, and somebody replaced them. Okay, we've got guys picking up meat, so that's good. There we go. There we go. My food went up just in time to get to spring, so I survived the winter. Yay! Okay, I think that winter survival seems like a pretty good breaking point. So we're going to go to new save. We're going to go to Tycoonotic 1. Dun, 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 and uh, because I'm kind of recovering from this uh, from this cold or flu or whatever it is, I think I'm uh, my, my throat's not really holding out as well as it normally does. So I'm going to break for the evening, but I will be back um, maybe later this week, maybe this weekend, to uh, regale you all with another a fine adventure in the world of tycoon and management sims, or whatever, management games or sims, whatever the heck I feel like playing, whatever the heck you feel like watching, or don't feel like watching, however it is, have an excellent, excellent week, everybody, and thank you for being patient. Uh, I will also be returning to the podcasting uh, world with... Um, another episode of uh, that one podcast, but that is going to probably not be until next week. Um, first of all, there were all the problems that I ran into with the move and the voice and the and the uh, cold and the flu and all that kind of stuff, but also um, uh, my uh, Marvin's schedule and mine have to meet up. That'll probably be sometime uh, next week or... Uh, or uh, the week after. So we'll make it as quickly as possible. But in any case, until then, good night, good luck, and good hunting aurochs and reindeers and woolly mammoths and things like that. Thank you, everyone.